Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today I'm going to take you through a session that focuses on exercises to help with your horse riding. So start with three red springs and a green. You're going to lie onto your back. Heels are coming onto the foot bar, hip width apart. Exhale, press away from the foot bar length in your legs. Inhale to bend. Pressing away, nice and soft through the knees as you extend. Inhale to bend. So you're in neutral spine, your belly button's drawing away from your pant line and you're controlling those springs on the way in and on the way back out. Exhaling and then inhaling. Nice work guys. On the next one, I want you to press through your right heel, float the left leg into tabletop. It's almost like you're marching through the legs here and then you're gonna alternate. So switching to the other side, coming back and then exhale pressing away on a single leg so really start to connect through those glutes nice work guys the next time that you press away you're going to come down halfway little tiny pulses up and down through the leg you've got four more for three two one press out all the way let's swap heels float the left leg into tabletop coming down halfway eight little pulses for seven six five four three two one pressing out all the way good now you're going to place your heels wide onto the foot bar allow for a slight external rotation through the hips exhale press out evenly through both heels lengthen your legs inhale to bend exhale pressing away inhale to bend so we're starting to connect through the inner thighs the glutes the quads here keeping the bottom heavy really warming up the legs Good guys, you're going to come down halfway. You've got eight little pulses here. So think two inches up, two inches down. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pressing out all the way, lengthen your legs, bend the knees, draw the carriage in. Let's place the toes where your heels just were. Heels are lifted. Exhale, press out through the balls of the feet. Inhale to bend. Exhale, lengthening the legs. Inhaling to bend. We've got six to go. Keeping those heels high for five. Last four here. Three more. Two. Last one here. Coming down halfway. Keeping those heels lifted. Pulsing up and down for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three two one press out all the way bend the knees draw the carriage in keep the toes exactly where they are just draw the knees together so you're coming into a knock knee position you're going to press out as far as you can without letting your knees separate and then draw the carriage in six to go keep the heels lifted the higher the heels the more intense you're going to feel it through the vmos exhaling and then inhaling using your breath Nice guys, you're gonna come down halfway on this next one and you've got eight little pulses to finish for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press out all the way, you're gonna separate your knees and then bend the knees, draw the carriage all the way in, well done. You're gonna grab your magic circle, that's handy. And you're going to place the magic circle in between your ankles. Shuffle a little bit further down from the shoulder rests, float the legs into tabletop and allow the elbows to drop out wide while still holding the shoulder rests. You're gonna inhale, drop the legs over to the left side and then use your side waist, you're gonna wrap it back through center and then inhale, drop them over to the right. Keeping the legs into tabletop and keeping about a 20% squeeze on that magic circle so we're activating through the inner thighs. Inhaling and then exhaling, good using your breath we've got two last one here exhaling drawing back through center nice on this next one lower the legs over to the right from here extend the legs long with straight legs come back through center then bend the knees drop the legs over to the left and then repeat belly buttons drawing to your spine 
nice straight legs. Good, you've got four more here. And your last one, extend, draw back through center, bend the knees. Now you're going to interlace your fingertips together. Let's exhale, curl up through the head, neck and shoulders. Draw your gaze in between the knees and then inhale to lower down. Exhaling, lifting. Good. Using your breath. Five to go. And for four. Three more here. Two. Last one. Curl up. Hold it here. You're going to... Extend the legs out long, bend the knees and lower the upper body down. We're going to repeat that. So lift up, extend, bend, lower down. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. The lower that you send your legs when you extend, the more challenging it is for the lower abdominals. Keep using your breath here. On this next one, I want you to curl yourself up, extend the legs with your arms, reach them by your side, pulses up and down for your hundred. So you're inhaling two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, keep going. Last 10 here. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. 100. Well done. Lower yourselves down. Grab hold of that magic circle. Place it off to one side. Grab hold of your shoulder rest. You can drop your knees from side to side so you get a lower abdominal release. One more here. And then you're going to curl yourself up. And we're changing over so you've got one red spring, so one full spring. And then you're going to grab hold of the box and you're going to place it as a long box on top of the carriage. You're going to sit on top of the box with your feet heavy on the headrests. Reach down, grab hold of your short loops and restack up nice and tall. Arms are straight. We're going to exhale, pull the hands all the way back by our side and then inhale, float the arms forward. So sitting up tall onto your sit bones, reach up through the crown of your head. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, float the arms forward. Nice work. One more here. Exhale, pull all the way back. Now you're going to bring your hands just in line with your hips and I want you to press back from here. So we're making the movement smaller. Exhale, pull back. You should start to feel your triceps. Gaze is forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, float the arms. Two more here. Last one. Nice work. You're going to place your right long loop onto your shoulder pin. And with your left hand, I want you to grab hold of the knotted or plastic part of your rope. Bring your right hand behind your head and we're going to exhale, pull the left elbow back, kind of glide it across your rib cage and then back behind you. And then inhale, reach the arm forward. Last one like this. On the next one, I want you to rotate to the left. So exhale, draw the left elbow back, rotate the shoulders to your left, and then inhale to release. Four to go. Nice finish.
finishing up there, we're going to place the long loop onto the shoulder pin and we're swapping over to the other side straight away. So grab hold of the plastic or the knotted part of the rope. Left hands behind your head this time. Exhale, pull the right arm back and then inhale to release. Six more here. Ready, you're gonna add in that rotation to the right. So your aim is to try and keep both sit bones heavy. You're rotating both shoulders around to the right. So get that rotation through the back. Use your breath, exhale, rotate, inhale to release. Four more here. work place the long loop onto your shoulder pin and we're gonna step off of there and we're changing just to one blue spring and we're changing the box to a short box we'll lower down the foot bar one blue spring is on and I want you to grab hold of the magic circle if you want to make this more intense for the inner thighs change to one yellow spring I just don't have the option for a yellow spring so the blue is my lightest I've placed the magic circle just above the ankle bones and I'm exhaling, dragging both legs together and then inhaling to release. So I'm squeezing that magic circle and then inhaling to release. Starting to connect through the inner thighs. Both legs are straight. You should feel this quite intensely through the inner thighs. Now I want you to pulse your right leg to your left leg. Little pulses here. Working the inner thighs, you've got three more, two, one. Then we're gonna hold the magic circle. Three more seconds, two, one, release the squeeze. We're gonna carefully take it out and turning around to the other side. Place the magic circle above the ankles. Two straight legs, we're gonna exhale, dra draw the magic circle in and then inhale to release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale to release. Gazes forward. Just a few more like this before we come into some pulses. When you're ready, little pulses. Left leg to the right leg. Four to go for three, two, one. Hold that squeeze of the magic circle. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release. Grab hold of the magic circle. Place it off to one side. And we're going to work your glutes. Have the left ball of your foot on the platform, right heels up against the short box. Both hands are behind your back. You're gonna inhale, bend your left knee, lean your upper body forward, and then exhale, drive up through the left ball of the foot. Draw yourself back up. We're connecting through the left glute. Try and create a diagonal through the crown of your head through to your right heel. Inhaling to lower, exhale to draw up. Just a few more like this before we add in a single run of the right leg. The next time that you lower down, hold it here. I want you to run your right leg in, extend it out, and then draw yourself all the way back up. here lower down bend the right leg extend draw all the way up lower down again this time you're gonna run your right leg in and out seven to go last one draw all the way up well done you're gonna swap the feet around. So right foot's coming onto the platform, left heel's coming onto the short box. 
bend your right knee, find that nice long lunge, and then exhale, drive up through the right ball of the foot. Six more here. On this next one, lower down, let's run the left leg in, extend the left leg, exhale, drive up through the right leg. Nice, seven more. Nice work, lower down, you're going to hold it here, let's run the left leg in and out for eight. Left leg straight, drive all the way back up, nice work guys. You're going to carefully step down here. And we're going to work into our planks. So place your toes onto the platform, knees are coming onto the carriage, forearms are coming onto the box. Lift the knees off, extend the legs out long, we're holding the plank here. Belly buttons drawing to your spine, lifting out of the shoulders. Letting the body shift to the right, float the left leg in, in line with your hip, hold it. Lower the left leg down, we're going to swap to the right now, holding it here. Nice and strong through the upper body. Lower the right leg down. This time you're gonna come into so your elbow slides and then a pike. So lower yourself down, elbow slide. Draw the elbows in line with your shoulders, pike the hips up to the ceiling. So work the upper abdominals as well as the lower abdominals. The further you slide your elbows away from the body, the more intense it is through the upper abdominals. And when you pike your hips up to the ceiling, draw your gaze in between your feet. And two. Final one here. Lower down all the way. We're gonna hold the plank. We've got eight seconds, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, draw the carriage all the way in. Well done, guys. You're gonna come out of there straight away. And we're gonna lift up the foot bar. And I want you to place your bottom against a wall. Your legs are out a little bit further in front. I want you to start lifting up the toes. So you're peeling the toes back towards your shins and then you're lowering down. So these are your tibia raises. We're starting to strengthen up through the front of the shins because that's the angle that you press down into the stirrups. Your heels dig into the ground, your toes are reaching up towards the ceiling. So we're helping to strengthen the muscles on the front of the leg. 10 more here, just peeling the feet off. So you're coming onto your heels and then lowering the feet down. Last one here, peeling those feet back, lowering them down. Bring the bottom off of the wall. You're gonna come into some roll down. So roll yourself down, stick the bottom out, press away on the carriage, and then scoop up using your lower abdominals, draw the carriage in, and then exhale, press away. It's almost like you're diving into a pool. Get that stretch through the back and also through the hamstrings. Mm -hmm. 
draw the carriage in, place your left hand on top of the box and then place the right hand underneath. You're going to get a rotation, you should get a really deep stretch through the right side of the body. Nice work come up, we're going to swap over to the other side. So the right hand comes into the middle of the box, the left hand goes underneath the right hand at the edge of the box, then bend, rotate to the right, get that stretch. One more. Draw the carriage in, come back through centre, restack the spine one vertebrae at a time. And you're all finished for today. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you again next week.